Let's talk about a piece of technology that has recently come out. Uh, I think it's like uh, quite breakthrough on the field of like programming language research. So it's called HVM, and another related uh, piece of tech is the band language. And you can read more about them on that link while I'm speaking. So you might be thinking, another language, no. But hear me out. Uh, they are promising uh, automatic parallelism without any synchronization, um, you know, just like the usual migraine-inducing abstractions that you need to add to get concurrency and parallelism. Um, so the HVM virtual machine and the band language promise to use your whole CPU or your whole GPU automatically and to have like a linear uh, speed up with the number of cores. That sounds pretty amazing, considering that whenever I need to like stop using Elm at work on front end and I need to touch the TypeScript backend, I'm constantly waiting for the TypeScript compiler to just like finish whatever it's doing on just one core while the rest of my computer is idling. So let's dive a little bit into like what uh, they are actually promising. And so imagine this program in a normal uh, strict eager language. Uh, you would first run, you know, bar, then bus, and then uh, finally foo. But um, in the band language, foo and bar and bus will all run at the same time. Of course, foo can't finish until like bar and bus are finished, but it can do like whatever like initialization it needs to do before it actually needs to use the values. So if it can be parallel, it will be parallel. And so you kind of, your only way to influence the parallelism is with the shape of your code, of your like function calls. So for example, you could, you know, process your data uh, with a fault, but that's quite sequential. Oh, I hope, I hope that still works. Um, so you could process your data with a fault, um, but that's quite sequential. Uh, you know, it produces this like unbalanced uh, tree call graph, or you could use a monoid and, you know, if you have the associative operation and that is like more, um, more balanced and Bent can use that to actually like run these functions at the same time. So yes, you can influence the parallelization with your code shape. Uh, I have this recording of an experiment I have done uh, where like I have two versions of a program, it just like counts uh, recursively and uh, the left one is uh, sequential, the right one is parallel and um, so we can see the sequential one just used like one core, it bounced between the physical cores. And now when I run the parallel one, it like uses all the cores. I hope you can see, um, you can see the spikes. So yeah, I think that's, that's pretty magical. So how is it possible? Uh, it's possible with graphs. Graphs were the um, idea all along. And more importantly, it's based on a research from like 1990. Uh, interaction nets, uh, and interaction nets are basically saying it's, it's a graph, but the nodes have to have one special designated uh, port, and they can have like multiple other ports, and whenever two nodes line up next to each other with their active ports, they can be re rewritten, reduced. And uh, these limitations give you the property of confluence, meaning that like, um, whatever order you choose for these uh, reductions, it will always come down to the same answer in the same number of steps. And because the re rewrites are local, you can do them in parallel. Um, and so, but that's, there's an issue, because at the top you have interaction nets, that's like graph stuff, and at the bottom you have your like normal program that you want to write, right? like, you know, ADTs, pattern matching, uh, lambdas, lambda calls, function calls, just like normal stuff. And so there's, there's a gap, and the gap, uh, this is way above my pay grade, but, uh, you know, you, you, can't, you can't really write HVM code 
by hand. It, it is just like some weird alien syntax for graphs and like, I don't know. But they are doing symmetric interaction combinators, which is saying we are gonna uh, use these specific nodes in our interaction nets with these specific rewrite uh, rules. And somehow, I don't know how that maps into Lambda Calculus. So doesn't really matter what you need to do in order to reap all the like performance benefits is to like transpile your language into Bend. And uh, Bend will compile that to the alien stuff, to the graphs, to HVM code, and HVM can run that as a parallel C program or as a CUDA program on your GPU. And that's all. Great, thank you.